We are currently on the Joyous Resolution, the drill ship of the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program. Welcome to our weekly Pete news update. We are on transit to our first site, which is 2300 nautical miles southeast of the Hawaiian Islands. But where are we, really? Today on Captain's Log. This is day five of the Captain's Log of the Geordie's Resolution. The Geordie's Resolution is transiting south of Hawaii, heading down to, uh, to the Site 7C. The winds have not been excess of uh, 15 knots and the sea state is very, very calm. Uh, we've been hoping to see some wildlife out here. Uh, we were looking for whales and um, porpoises, but um, no whales or, or dolphins, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that we might see those. I'm sitting in my brand new bridge up here after our uh, term in Singapore, and uh, it's very, very nice. This is a nice leg. Uh, some of the legs that Geordie's Resolution goes on are cold and a bit icy, but this is a lovely leg. The sun is out. This is about as good as it gets. See you next week. Science Updates. Welcome to the Science Update. But what could possibly happen on a drill ship if there's no core yet? Let's find out. So what is, what's all the activity about here? And who are you? Who are you anyway? Hi, I'm Steve Hoven. Um, Excellent. Well, what's, what's going on on the drill ship right now? But there's no core yet. Oh, we have plenty of core. Uh, we've been uh, processing cores for the last several days, actually. But we've been on transit ever since. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the, the last expedition left us some core to work on. They left us core? They, they were too lazy to process the cores themselves? Do you hear that, people? <laughs> they weren't lazy. They just were kind enough to leave us some things to get started with. Show us something. Oh, sure. Here's some mud that we, uh, we've been working on. The last of uh, 20 cores, actually. Um, mostly made up of little tiny bugs uh, that have been floating in the seas and dropped down to the bottom now and filled up the bottom of the oceans with mud. So how long, how long ago did this mud drop down on the bottom of the ocean? Uh, this came back in a period of geologic time called the Oligocene, about 20 million years ago. Fascinating. Well, so far for our science update. Day on Who's That Guy? Howdy all y'all. I'm Andrew Trefethen and I protect the data on the ship. Every one of us are very skilled in what we do. And outside of our sphere of specialty, we oftentimes fall a little bit short. If you remember in that first Jurassic Park movie, when the archaeologists climbed into the helicopter and the helicopter took off, you'll see that one of the archaeologists he pulled out his seat belt from the left and he pulled out the other seat belt from the right and he tried to put it together but he just couldn't because he had picked up the wrong end of the seat belt next to him. And so instead of grabbing the right seat belt or the correct seat belt so that he could get the uh, get them buckled together, he tied them together. What I do is I help those scientists buckle that seat belt by providing them with computer support that will allow them to do their science. I've chose this job because I have a long history in the, not the maritime industry so much as water sports in general. We have always lived near the ocean. Went to school in a boat in Seattle, it was the Marine Engineering School, and it was an old Coast Guard buoy tender. I saw the opportunity at Texas A&M University and I applied for the job. The job description was going to see computer support. I thought, wow, this is for me, man. Finally, I was hired and I was uh, very excited to go out to sea and be part of the seagoing uh, maritime industry. I don't care about the weather. I've never been seasick and I've been in some pretty rough seas. Drilling updates. Let's get Drilling Superintendent Mike Storms for our drilling update. Hey Mike, could you briefly give us a drilling update? Sure, we, uh, we're not drilling. That's the update. No, we're, we're underway still to the first site. We have a five days and 1,300 miles to go before we get there. We'll be having a meeting later this afternoon to do the fine-tuning on the operations plan and uh, get everything ready. So we're not drilling. Thank you very much, Mike. Well, so much for the drilling update. 
The only thing left now for this news report is... Weather! Aloha, I'm Catherine Beltran, the Paleo Weather Girl for PNN. So how is the weather today, May the 1555 million years before Christ? Well, a crocodile has been seen in Spitsbergen. He was taking a nap in the shadow of a palm tree. Nice and sunny weather there, but also here in the equatorial Pacific, where the sea surface temperature might reach 36 degrees Celsius. But take care, with 100% of humidity, we might expect the Hurricane Elmo Category 7 to come through next week. Mahalo, this was the weather report of the week. See you in the next 10 million years. BNN, as deep as we can possibly go, for you. This is BNN.